There is not much the world can do without having the involvement of these great assets that we have produced. Our names are ahead and we prosper in every field we find ourselves in. Our successes are not limited only to our religious affiliations or beliefs, but in our little contributions to the success of the nation and the entire humanity. The House of Man has a proverb that goes, Yabongwa ni dolene. That is why we cannot forget the contributions of these amazing people to the development of our Ummah. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you all for making Islam a beautiful religion. There was a question that kept me sleepless for days and nights. I was thinking, having deep thoughts about this supreme being who owns power in every might. The mystery of this being lies in his guidance and light. I bet this question will evoke curiosity in any pondering mind. The anxiety you feel as a striving soul, just at the mention of his name. This question will obviously confuse an already confused mind, but will amaze a pondering mind. This question that no being, no man, no creation can answer best about him. The supremacy of his being lies in this mystery of a ten-lettered question. Who is Allah? The lost souls say, there is no such being who pulls the strings up there. You can't really blame their myopic thinking. He is unseen, mysterious yet glorious. And his majesty befits him perfectly. He is Allah, the sustainer of the heavens and the earth in conjunction. And everything that lives within it. The creator of the unimaginable paradise. The subtle, the lord of Yajuj and Majuj. The creator of the best of men. Mustafa ibn Abdullah, alayhi salatu was salam. The mysterious king who joins two different oceans laying side by side by, by each other, yet they never cross their boundaries. The one whose mercy is override his wrath, Allah. The one who controls the wind, the nostrils. On one blessed day, he made man and kept him in control of other creations. Then came Shaitan, the master in manipulations. He whispered, convinced and breathed into man some confusions to unveil the mystery of his creations. Yet his mercy is override his wrath. Allah, he forgives. The one who connects fetuses through an umbilical cord to its mother. Who else has this knowledge? Who else has this power? He is Al-Hakim, the one who owns the fountain. The one who listens to our cries and plea. The one who ensures from the whims of shaitan we flee. The one who overlooks our sins and keeps us in glee. Oh, the, the all forgiven your majesty. Keep this question in the purest sanity. My tattered self, my undeserving self will not harbor a single doubt of who you are. You are what you proclaim. You are providence. You are Razak. Your creations are evident. And I... I wish to drown in your love and provisions and I, I wish to scream to the whole world that you have all the solutions. You are, and if they do deny your majesty, power and supremacy, let them bring a single proof to denounce your might. Just who can defy thee?